Hello, and welcome to today's edition of Crack the Cryptic, where, as usual, we're going to take a look at the deadly uh, rated killer Sudoku uh, from the Times. Um, so, let's take a look. Um, so, what I normally do at the start of these is just fill in a few of the um, sort of given two or three letter cells. So, you know, seven in three cells has got to be one, two, four. Uh, there's another one there, 7979. Seven, uh, can't see anything else immediately. Um, okay. Da, 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 da. No. Okay. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the bottom row now. You should be able to write in this number. Um, again, if you can't immediately see how to do that, then just pause the video. And have a think about how oh, I've just spotted there's a 689 combination there, so it's the Latin. Um, so, the way to do this, we got 21 in these four cells, 6 here, so that's 27, 14, it's 41. That means this has to be a 4 in order to ensure that this row sums to 45, which it must do because it must contain all of the numbers uh, from 1 to 9 exactly once each. Um, and you can see there the 6 is now forced and the 14 is also forced as a result of the 6 being forced. Because the 6 can't be a 2-4 variation, it has to be 1-5. And now the 14 can't be a 5-9 variation, it has to be a 6-8. Um, so that's actually quite a good start there. We've, um, we've made good progress immediately. Uh, and we could, I suppose, fill in, what's this, 2-3-7-9. Let's do that just for the sake of completeness. Uh, in fact, this can't be a 2, can it? So this has to be a 2 because we've already got the 2 in the box. So 3, 7, 9, 3, 7, 9. So this can't be 9s. And this has to be a 5 because it's the only place 5 can go in the box. And this has to be a 9 because that box needs to contain a 9 and it can only be there. This can't be a 9 here. There we go. So, okay, so that's a nice, nice start. You can observe things like this 22 box here needs to contain a 9, um, but I don't think that's quite useful at this point. Um, okay. We also know this 8 box needs to contain a 1, um, and this one can't be here. So I would probably note that there has to be a 1 here or here. And does that help with anything? Not quite again. And 30, 15. So I'm just doing a bit of mental arithmetic now just to spot the next step. I could pause the video, probably that would be better. Um, but Let's just try and have a quick look. I'm looking at the last two columns as well now. Um, I'm wondering whether we can do anything with those. So let's just try that. 13 and 3 is 16. Uh, plus 21 uh, is 37. 50 plus this 13 here. 62, 76. So we know that these three cells here have to sum to 14. And that is not going to be very useful actually. And that means these four cells have to sum to 16, which again is not is not a number that's conducive to helping us. So we're going to have to do a, a bit more arithmetic, I think, because this number is is solvable using a similar method to the one I've, I've just described. Um, so have a think about how I might be able to write in that number right now. Um, Okay, I'll tell you. This time we need to look at the first four columns of the grid. And if you look at those four first four columns and draw an imaginary line up the grid where the curse is going now, up here, draw an imaginary line. We know that these first four columns have to sum to 180. And we also know that every single cell in the first four columns except this one is entirely contained within boxes that don't breach this imaginary line. 
So if we add all these boxes together and deduct that total from 180, we will get the value of this cell. Okay, I'm just doing that in my head and I get 176. This is always a danger with these videos. <laughs> you know, you, if, if my mental arithmetic is even one out, this video will be very poor indeed. Uh, but if, assuming that's right, that would force this to be a four. Um, okay, and now that's interesting for a couple of reasons. Firstly, if we look at the top, uh, this top row again, we have a 13, a 13, that's 26, and a 4 is 30, and this is 4 is 34. So we know these two numbers here have to sum to 11. Um, and we also know that we can't use uh, either the 3, 8, or the 4, 7 variations. So we know we're either looking at a 5, 6 combination or a 2-9 combination, but if it was a 2-9 combination, the 2 cannot go here because of this 22 box, so this would have to be a 9, and this would have to be a 2, like that. And now we can see that this 5 actually is impossible, so let's remove that as a possibility, and we're left with just 6-9 here. Interestingly, we know that the 9 in the 22 box actually is in one of these two positions because this 16 box rules us out from being here. So we know that could be a 9. And that means this is the 9 down here. But that's not going to help us, but we should, we should include it. Um, okay. But now we can isolate the value of these two cells. So let's try that now. Think about how to do it. Um, but I'll tell you now anyway. So we've got 16 here plus 4 is 20. Plus 10 for these three boxes. Because we know these three boxes sum to 15 minus 5. So that gives us 30. Plus this 2 here, 32. So we know these two cells sum to 13. And we know that neither of these cells can be a 7 or a 9. So they are forced to be a 5 and an 8. 5, 8, 5, 8. And that is actually helpful, bizarrely enough, because, because this box can only contain a 5 or an 8, it limits what the 22 box of which it is a part, it limits this in terms of what it can be. It cannot be the 6, 7, 9 variation of the 22 sum. It has to be the 5, 8, 9 variation. And therefore this cannot contain a 6. And if it can't contain a 6, it has to be a 9. Which means this is a 2. And this is 5 or 8. Well, we know it can't be a 5, so this is an 8. And this actually is the 5, and this is the 8. So all of that work actually has proved reasonably helpful. Um, okay, so one, three, three, six down here. Let's just put that in. That can't be a six. Three, six, three, six, like that. We know these two cells have to sum to fifteen. Um, that's not, I don't think that's quite going to be useful at this point, annoyingly. <laughs> okay, but we can we can have, do a bit more work on this top left box and have a think about that. And the reason I'm wondering about these, this now is that I think we can isolate the value of these two cells. And we can do that in one of two ways, actually. We can either do it working downwards or we can do it working in this way. Because the 8 here means that these three cells sum to 13. 13 plus 9 is 22, plus 11 is 33. So we know these two cells sum to 12. And we know they're doing that without either of them being a 9. So 4, 8, 4, 8, well, 8 is impossible. So that's. Uh, one one variation and the other one is five seven without that so like that 
and irritatingly we can't quite eliminate down. Oh yes we can because now this cannot be a three because of this three up here. It's a very clever puzzle this. It's really tight in terms of um, you know the logic um, that we're needing to use seems to be in a very very uh, prescribed order. We're having to work quite methodically and spot the next step quite exactly in order to make progress and I like it when these puzzles are, are reasonably challenging. Um, duh, duh, duh. So now we can put in a bit more of this uh, left hand side of the grid. Six. Okay. So I think that's where we get to now. Now you can see up here we have to put an 11 in this box but there are there's only actually one way we can do that um, and not fail one of the other problems that would exist in the box because we can't use 5, 6, we can't use 3, 8, we can't use 2, 9. So this has to be 4, 7. And that means these have to be the two, has to be 2, 5. And that actually allows us to say something interesting about the 8 here. Have a think about why. Why do I think this, this 8 is now uh, forced? And the reason is that we've locked the 1 of this 8 into one of these two positions. I notated that earlier. So we know that this can't contain a 1. Therefore, there are two ways of making 8 in 3 cells. It's either 1, 2, 5, or it's 1, 3, 4. Now because we know the 1's in here, we, ha we know this cell will either be a choice of a 2 and a 5, or it will be a choice of a 3 and a 4. Well it can't be a choice of a 2 and a 5, because actually look, we've got the 2 and 5 already in this row. Therefore this has to be a choice of a 3 or a 4. Um, well, let's look down here. Well, now we can't have a 4 in either of these positions, but we know that these three cells have to contain a 4, so this is actually a 4. And these, this is a choice of 1, 3. So that was that's a nice piece of logic. Uh, okay, and we can see now this 12 has to be a 5, 7 variation, because it can't be 3, 9, and it can't be 4, 8. Uh, so this is 5, 7 like this and therefore this is a 9. Like that. Uh, okay. Ah, and that helps with this. We know these two have to add to 15 and we can't, it can't be 8, 7, it needs to be 6, 9. So therefore, oops, I did that exactly the wrong way. That's, that, there we go. Um, okay, so now we need 1, 3, 8 in here. And actually only this can contain an 8, because it needs to add to 13. This is a 1 and a 3. And a 1 and a 3 away from 21 gives 17. So this is an 8 and a 9, which means this is a 9. And this is an 8. This is a 6, 7 combination. And therefore this, I think, is a 3. Because I think that's the only thing that can go in this box. This is a three and this is a one. Uh, oh, which means that's a one and that's a five. Wow, look at this, it's just flowing now. Uh, okay. Okay. Interesting just to note this piece of Sudoku logic here. If you look in these two cells, they contain a 6. And look in these two cells, these two contain a 6. Therefore we know that if this is a 6, this will be a 6. And if this is a 6, this will be a 6. So there cannot be a 6 anywhere else in row or columns 8 and columns 9. But we need to put a 6 in this box, in this box here. We know it can't be in any of these three positions either, so the 6 is either here or here. And annoyingly, we don't know which one, but because that's a piece of sort of more advanced logic, I'd certainly be writing that down to, um, 
to help me. Uh, and it does help a little bit indeed with this 13 box because we know this 13 box can't be a 4-9 variation. So it's either a 5-8 variation or a 6-7 variation, but we've just said that it can't be a 6-7 variation because there can't be a 6 in this box. So this is a 5-8 variation, and you can see immediately by scanning across, that means this is an 8 and this is a 5. And therefore, by simple Sudoku logic, that's a 5. And therefore, this is a 5 and this is a 2, which is also quite nice. Now I need to put a 2 in row 4, and I can only go here now. And therefore, this is a 6. These two cells have to add to 5 can't be 1, 4, so it's got to be 2, 3, and we already have a 2 here. So this is 2, 3, like that. Four. I think the puzzle's done now. Um, I'll be quite surprised if, uh, if there's a really advanced piece of logic left now to solve this. Um, but we'll just, we'll just carry on because it's not taking too long. Uh, so now we need to put 1, 7 in here. We can't quite see how to do that. Oh, I didn't just put the cursor in the wrong place. Or I probably just typed in numbers I didn't mean to somewhere else. So I put one seven like that. Oh, down here we can put this in. That. So this twenty one. We've already got 5 in there, so these two cells have to sum to 16, which means they have to be 7 and 9. It's the only way of doing that, so therefore it has to be like that, because there are 9 here. This is a 1. Now this cannot be a 1, therefore this is the only place that 1 can go. Okay, 1, 1, 1, 1, that's all looking relatively good. We need to put a 4 in one of these two cells. I don't quite know which one yet, I don't think. And now we can use the same logic that we were trying to use earlier, um, and we can isolate the value of this cell. Um, because, again, these final two columns in the grid have to sum to 90, because they must contain each of the numbers 1 to 9 twice, exactly. Um, and we can just add these up. And because we've got a 12 here, the difference will be the value of this cell. Uh, eight, 81, I think. If that's right, that would be a 9, which looks like it can be a 9. So let's do that. And therefore, this is going to be a 3, which also looks like it's correct. Um, because now we've got 4 and a 5 to place here, which is going to add to the right number. So that looks like it's a quick bit of mental arithmetic there, might not be too erroneous. Okay, these two cells have to sum to 14, therefore they have to be 6 and 8 because it can't be 5 and 9, which means this is a 6 and this is an 8, which means this is a 6 and this is a 3. This is a 6 and this is a 4, this is a 7, and this is a 2. Just a quick check on the 22 box there and it looks correct, so that's all looking good. This has to be 2, 4, like that, we can put 1 and 3 here, 1, therefore this is 7, 9, and therefore, and that's how you do the deadly killer Sudoku. Thanks for watching.